Hello everyone. My name is Vitalik Ablaev and I'm a sales engineer at Plexim. Welcome to the Plex Model of the Month video series. In this month's video, I will introduce space vector and carrier-based modulation techniques for the three-phase, three-switch converter. The featured Plex model has been developed by Dr. Janamejaya Chanagoda during his PhD studies at Ontario Tech in Canada. Here is Janmai saying hello. Hello everyone. My name is Jan May. I am a power electronics engineer currently living in Toronto, Canada. I would like to thank Plexim for featuring my research work in their Plex Model of the Month series. I have been extensively using Plex when I was in school while pursuing my PhD degree. I would highly recommend Plex because not only is it feature rich, it has plenty of demo models and most importantly, the Plex RT box complements the Plex simulation software and is incredibly useful for hardware in the loop testing and rapid control prototyping. Thanks for the introduction. I will first introduce the topology. The three phase, three switch or TPTS converter has been used as the rectifier front end stage for telecom power supplies. The TPTS converter is also a good candidate for charging electric vehicles due to its high efficiency at peak power rating and wide output voltage variation. TPTS can operate at nearly unity power factor, so it is suitable for grid connected operation. The converter topology is derived from three single phase buck rectifiers and contains one active switch per leg, thus minimizing switching losses. The two switching techniques discussed and compared within the paper are the Space Vector Based Modulation, or SVM, which has been the preferred choice for this converter, and a simplified Carrier Based Modulation Scheme. The Space Vector Modulation Scheme is a popular technique used for control of three-phase power converters. Its advantages over the sinusoidal PWM method include an increased fundamental output, lower harmonics, and full DC bus utilization. The principle of SVM is based on modulating between the different switching combinations for specific time intervals in order to achieve desired line current vectors. The various modes of operation of the converter can be classified into two groups. The zero states, where either only one or none of the switches are on, and active states, displayed on the bottom here, when two or more switches are on. The corresponding line currents are highlighted here. If all three switches are on, the current flows through only two legs of the TPTS, depending on the position of the voltage vector, thus making one of the active phases redundant. Here, I am highlighting the sectors 5, 6, and 1, where VA is always greater than VB, thus corresponding in the line current IAB. In the sectors 2, 3, and 4 here, it is the reverse scenario. The six line currents may be displayed in a space vector diagram format. Because of the ambiguous 111 state, the generated six sectors may further be divided into equal subsectors. Once the sector is identified, that information is used to compute the dwell times for that particular sector using current second balance involving trigonometric functions, as shown in the bottom right of this slide. Although the space vector based modulation scheme has always been the popular choice for control of TPTS, its implementation is computationally expensive compared to other approaches. In the proposed simplified carrier based PWM modulation scheme, a control signal is compared with a high frequency carrier signal of a triangular waveform, which establishes the switching frequency of the converter. In order to generate a suitable modulating waveform, Janmai selected three different switching patterns displayed in the bottom left here, where none of the three phases changes more than once during a switching period, which enabled a more simplistic generation of the modulating wave. In each one, he placed the redundant active state in the center of the symmetric switching pattern and the other active state next to it. He then performed an analysis of these patterns derived generalized on-time expressions as shown on the bottom right, and implemented them on a TI-28069M Piccolo Launchpad microcontroller. As you can see, these expressions in the bottom right are dependent on the absolute value of the different currents 
and don't require calculating the on times using trigonometric functions. Looking at Janmai's Plex model, we see the converter along with a controller subsystem. At the bottom of the model, we generate the three phase current references, which will be used for controls as we're running this model in open loop. We also generate the 12 phase current subsectors here. Within the controller subsystem, there are three modulation scheme implementations, space vector, carrier based, and a simplified carrier based. For the space vector PWM, we calculate the dwell times based on which of the subsectors the line currents are in, from which we determine the appropriate switching combination. For the carrier based modulation, we derive the three modulating waves from three sinusoidal phase inputs for each of the 12 subsectors, which are then compared to a triangular waveform. For the simplified carrier based, we are importantly no longer relying on subsectors and are instead using the generalized derived expressions for on times t min, t mid, and t max. As you can see from the scope, the generated switching signals are identical. The results of the comparison validated by prototype hardware are displayed on this slide. The proposed carrier-based modulation scheme requires less computational effort and can therefore be executed on inexpensive microcontrollers. Future work suggestions include the use of SIC and GAN devices for improving efficiency, interleaving converters, finding other modulation waves, and using model predictive control techniques. I hope you enjoyed this video on space vector and carrier-based modulation schemes for the three-phase, three-switch converter. For more videos and other information, please visit our website at www.plexim.com. Thanks for watching.